Hey guys, welcome back to Subnautica. This is RC, and last episode was an interesting one to say the least. Uh, we built the moon pool. Uh, we have uh, gotten our module put in with the with the moon pool in place. So that now lets us go down to 300 feet. Oh, what is that? Is that gold? Ooh, hello. Uh, I am going to exit this and we are going to... I cannot get inside. We can get inside here. Alright. Uh. Ooh, hello. Alright, um... Spotlight. I just, I just, oh. All right. Well, we'll figure that out. All right, now, where is, there we are. Let's get back in our little thing here. Because those eels scare me. <laughs> okay. This looks like a geothermal. Yes. Ooh, hello. Look how interesting that looks. All right, well, we want to stay well above this 300 meters if we can. But I do want to make my way over here. Because I've got no freaking idea how to get out of here now. I just know that the entrance to our... The entrance... All right, I think we've got it going here now. All right. Interesting. All right, let's highlight that. I think I already found the thermal plant. Yeah. Mod station we already found. Alright, so there's going to be some stuff to... Oh, jelly shroom? Interesting. Yeah, I kind of want to just pull around outside. I don't mind getting the titanium because we need it. Nuclear reactor. I think I needed to find that to finish it. Ow, hello. Alright, that's those freaking... Um, hmm. Can I not get in anywhere here? No. Ah, here we go. Alright. That... There's always a pecking order. Money makes the hierarchy. Alright. Oh shit, yeah, I gotta watch those things. Those are bad. Really bad. Yeah, avoid. Ooh, water filtration. I've heard about that. I haven't actually seen anybody use it yet. Father feels it is. He'd tell me it was childish. 
but I stare out the window and sometimes I think how lucky I am to see this world up close. Back on the island, I wouldn't have believed the creatures that live down here. The fish, All right. they glow. There's one that's 90% eyeball. Snakes twice the length of a habitat compartment. Certainly, it's not all friendly. Most of the plant life is toxic. Learned that the hard way. But I've managed to coax some marble melons into growing indoors. And when they don't cover our dietary needs, well, we eat the fish themselves. Oh, you know what? It's I need to. Uh... But there's nothing they wouldn't do. I've been attempting uh... to document my findings. Father approves. He says understanding is power. But the more we know about this planet, the more we Crap. can use it to our How do advantage. I get out? I'm just doing it because it's fun. It's not easy without proper equipment and network access. But the old-fashioned way, observing, taking notes, testing theories, shows me the world in a way a spectroscopic analysis never could. Lately, I've been watching the crab snakes. They ambush their prey as it tries to feed on the mushrooms they hide in. What right. they don't eat settles on the sea bed, which fertilizes the <laughs> mushrooms, which feeds the herbivores, and so the chain continues. Co-evolution gives me the fuzzies. Alright. Back out. Integrating new PDA data. Alright, so we want to make our way back through here. Alright, we went in there, we went through that ladder. Let me come down this way. Okay, we did come in. I came into this room. Integrating new PDA data. All right, stalker teeth. Something incredible just happened. Since we're down here, I had this plan to build equipment and study the life forms we were encountering, but I didn't have enough enameled glass. So, I started looking for a natural substrate that would strengthen the glass we have, and those stalker teeth we've been finding fit the bill. Only, well, we needed more. That's when Marguerite got interested. She actually listened to me, more than I can say for father. And I worked up the courage to talk about my more tentative theories. When I told oh, look. They were attracted there's to our uh, seamoth. get dislodged when they picked them up. Her eyes narrowed and she dashed out of the room. Three hours later, she came back, her pack loaded down with stalker teeth. I asked her about it. She shrugged and said my theories were good. Said she had the meeting on uh. the back of her hand. I think she meant it literally. She is incredible. She went out to the kelp forest, armed with just a heat blade, and went fin to fin with a pack of stalkers. On the one hand, All that right, is the coolest see. thing I have ever heard. On the other, well, I hope the stalkers didn't come off worse than Marguerite did. She had a huge gash on her forearm. I don't think things went as smoothly as she made out. And what's the point in surviving here? If we have to kill everything that makes it so wonderful. I wish I knew more about it. Father won't let me leave that. All right. Well, maybe with all this glass, we could build a container and get up closer. So let's just check around here while we're down here. Just to That just sounds bad, doesn't it? See if there's anything on the walls. I'm not seeing the rubies or anything. And I want to say we hit everything. Um, hmm. Oh, well, that's good. We already found that, but that'll give us some titanium. Uh, damn it. All right, now we were right there. Ah, oh, that is so frustrating. All right, just to make sure. So we went in that little piece before we went in. All right, we went down both sides. We went into the upper layer. All right, so let's check the 
proposed Degasi habitat. We're going to turn that off because we don't need it anymore because we've been here. There's our main base. So we want to make our way back that way at some point. Wouldn't mind exploring down here a little bit more because I'm sure it's a lot bigger than this, right? Now, Life Pod 12, I don't think this cavern's going to go 1,300 meters. So we want to make our way back over this way because if I recall correctly we entered the cave right basically near our main oh under our main base so we will ah Jesus well, avoid that I see a way out here. Oh, I think this is the shaft. Oh, I like the look of that. It was interesting looking in there, right? Woo! Awesome, awesome. doing on inventory all right let's come out and grab that all right I want to go I want to go over here because I think we've already been there and I want to pick up the beacon I just want to make sure we've been here. 99% sure that we have. Oh, God damn it. All right, yes, we have closed that out. So I want to grab the beacon. That's one less thing that we have to worry about. All right, what else we got out here? Geothermal vent. All right. Now that we can get down, I may have already been here too, but you know what? Let's go check it out. Now we're going northeast. That's near the original life pod. I tell you what, getting the sea moth is a life changer here, and then getting the moon pool is the next life, you know, life changer. So I'm guessing in that deep cave, right? If we had some. I'm going to save out here just in case. If we had some of our thermal power things that we could build down there, right? All right, so they're 250 meters down. I'm going to be interested to see if... Uh, have we been here? Have I been here? Bioreactor? 
characters. Trash can. All right. Nothing in here to loot. That's surprising. That looks like a place that would give you something. Or maybe it's a place for you to hide out. <laughs> maybe. Uh, metal salvage I don't need. Not right now. Eh. Maybe I take a piece or two. Oh. Scanner room? Oh, so now we've learned the scanner room. Cool. Oh, I didn't realize I could come up out of that. Cool. All right. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right. Now, where were we heading? Over here. Forklift. Ah, where did that go? Damn it. Right. New creature Reginald's. All right, Reginald's are, oh crap. Reginald's are uh, like really, uh, those are the best fish. Right there. Uh, those are the best fish for the bioreactor. So don't eat them. Alright, we're heading this way. Alright, another mushroom forest. Might be the same one. Now, didn't we go northwest? This is northeast. And I, I think I figured out about those aerogel sacks. So you see how we have like all the individual trees it's they're they're on the big ones the the you know kind of like the the home tree from avatar uh which are the huge ones in the center but anyway now let's see what did it tell us about life pod 12 uh data life uh Survivors? No. Life Pod 12. Don't remember. Ooh, what the hell is that? I don't know what that is. It looks scary as hell. I don't want to be near it. Oh, snap a little. Snapdragons. Is that a Leviathan? What the hell are those things? Else in here, nothing else in here. All right, so we got the uh, PDA there. What is that? That's salt. Those are weird. I don't know what they are. Yeah, and I'm at 52%. Ooh, what the hell is that? That's awesome looking.
okay, well, he obviously doesn't want me here. Looks like I'm leaking water. Oh, hello. Look what I found. I think I have to get that. see here. I don't know if there's anything to get in here, but we'll, let's kind of look. Right. I'm just looking to see, because sometimes those PDA things, right? All right. Let's head back that way. And what I would like to do, <laughs> let's go up. That would be good. Up is good. So we've got uh, a lot of damage. I could get out and repair it, but I want to see if when we dock at the moon pool, if that uh, repairs it for us. As long as we don't hit anything else, we should be fine. So let's go ahead and get back to base, and then we'll call it an episode. Um, I'd like to dock. I'd like to get in, see if it starts to repair. And then, uh, and then we'll call it an episode. All right, that was kind of a scary area over there with the electrical monsters and stuff. I need to go eat really bad. That was interesting right there. The uh, little purple flash. Kind of want to go see what it was. So I'm gonna. It was like right over here. Oh, hello. Um... Do I have my laser cutter? I don't, but you know what I got? Um, and I'm going to pop out here, and then I'm going to put my beacon in there. And it's not, uh, yeah, you know what? It had a sealed door. It most certainly did. All right, so we'll leave that there for us to check out later. Because I don't want to drag out the episode anymore. Man, we are... Uh... Ooh, sparks flying, man. Water seeping in. The graphics on the damage is pretty cool. You know, the water coming in. You know, like, dude, you're in trouble, man. I've got my repair tool, pretty sure. Ooh, no, I do not. All right, memo to sell. Must carry repair tool all the time. All right. We're almost back to base. We're going to probably have to drain out the ship. All right. So we're going to scoot in from this way. Oh, look at the cracks in the windshield. some lag there all right let's see just out of curiosity health is 22 percent charging 75 percent the health may not repair look at the uh look at the smoke coming off of it that's awesome the smoke coming off of this side oh, that's pretty incredible all right Uh, 
Oh, inventory's full. Of course it is. All right, uh, fish. We want to put the Reggie in there. Uh, rotten. Damn. Damn. I've got I've got room for five over there. Can I pull? I can pull one. We'll drop that. All right, that'll tide us over for a little while. And I want to go down and, nope, down and down. All right, repair tool right there. Hello. All right, we will place the titanium all in here. Uh, we got a copper to go in there. All right, I got a gold, a lead, a diamond, silver we're putting over there. All right, uh, let's see. Sea Glide, 100%. Flashlight's 94. Scanner, 74. That's fine. I'm not going to use all of that. So let's go. What else? Oh, I know what I wanted to do. Yes, I want to go back this way with the repair tool. Nope, not that way. This way. Yes, this way. Still smoking. All right. So fully charged, so it charged up pretty damn quick, but you have to repair it yourself. All right, well, that's fair enough. Awesome, fully charged, 100%. Nice. Oh, what about, um, do we have any other I haven't forgotten about you guys. I'm just thinking. Do we have any other... Ooh, water filtration system. Outputs consumable liquid water and salts. Substantial power requirements. All right. So... Let's look through our blueprints here. All right, so I could make a stasis rifle now, and I will want to make one of those, I believe. Um, the repulsion cannon. Prawn suit, torpedo arm. I've heard that's not very good. Who knows? Uh, magnetite, silver ore, and gold. Still looking for Cyclops pieces. I could make the scanner room. That doesn't do me any good. Scanner room. thermal plant Ooh, you know what just out of curiosity glass and two titaniums all right uh, nope I have a glass in here somewhere glass and two titaniums and my Habitat Builder, yeah? Um, do I 
want to build it maybe right here. I'm looking for... There we are. Yes. Facing the wrong way. Yeah, facing the wrong way. All right, so let's try that again. We want to run it, but we want to run it. We want to run it this way. Boom. There we go. All right. Does that help me out down here any? Probably not, huh? All right, but that's okay. It'll be like a signal beacon. That's pretty cool. All right, anything else we want to do? Yes, real quick before we call it an episode. All right. Um, no. Yes. that I'm gonna move the mod station over here don't know if I need to but we are gonna do it anyway all right um, nope 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 mod station right there all right we can we're gonna build it right there right now all right that doesn't give me anything else what about look at the fish it's awesome um... right there I just want to see if this has anything new okay well we've got the prawn suit the cyclops which we don't know yet and the neptune all right cool deal all Just pop in here guys all right so I don't know we accomplished a little bit this episode right I mean I think I've got two of those equipment repulsion cannon oh, okay and a stasis rifle so one of the things with the stasis rifle I don't know if it I don't think it works against Leviathans um, I don't know how it'll do against sand sharks and stalkers, but, um, the one thing I heard is, you know how we went fishing in some of the early episodes with our, with our grav, gravity trap, grav trap. So you throw your grav trap out, right? And it pulls everything in and then you shoot it with your stasis rifle. So instead of them all swimming off in different directions and I'm waving my hands like you could see that right um, you know then you shoot them and they're all stationary for a few seconds and it, and it helps you have time to pick them up um, I am pretty hungry so I think I'm gonna go stock my character up here well guys that'll be it for this episode uh, hit the like button subscribe if you don't mind and uh, hey, we'll catch you guys next episode. Have a good one. Bye.